this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your PlayStation 5 not connecting to the Wi Fi internet and other network issues. So, to do this, let's go up to the top to settings and select this and go to network. Now, under connection status, let's go to view connection. Now we can scroll on down and we want to check the signal strength. So, if we do not have a high enough signal strength, our PlayStation 5 could be disconnecting from the internet. So, you can see I'm at 100%. So if this is not high enough, move your PlayStation 5 closer to your wireless router. Then we can go back and go to settings and go to setup internet connection. And then what we want to do is forget our internet connection. So I can see scump right here. I'm going to press options on it and then go to forget and then go to OK. Now I want to scroll on down and I can go to register network so I can try reconnecting. But we can go to networks found and then connect to a network under here. Now you might want to press options on your controller and then go to Wi-Fi frequency bands and then just go to automatic to include 5G and 2.4 gigahertz. So let's go to automatic. So you might have this selected and you're not able to see all your Wi-Fi connections. So make sure you have automatic selected. And I can see scump right here. So I'm going to choose scump and connect to this and type in my password and then go to OK and it's connecting to my wireless network. Now, if you are trying to connect with a LAN cable, I should mention, you do have to come to this section and change it manually from your Wi-Fi network, and you have to go to set up wired LAN, otherwise it will still be connected to your wireless router. So I'm connected to Scump now. What we can do is press options on it, and then go to advanced settings. Then under here, let's go to where it says the DNS settings, and set it automatic, let's go to manual, and then type in for the primary 8.8.8.8, press R2 and done. Then go to the secondary DNS and type in 8.8.4.4, press R2 and done. And then you can go to OK. And you can see if changing the DNS settings helps your PlayStation 5 connection. Now there's two other things that we can just check to see if they're not the issue. So we can go back to the connection status page and we can just view the PlayStation Network status. Maybe PlayStation Network is down. So all service stars are up and running. Another thing I can do is go to the home screen and go to settings right here and then go to system, system software, and then go to system software update settings and just make sure our PlayStation 5 is up to date. Maybe there is an update and that's why we're not connecting to the internet because our PlayStation 5 is trying to install it or it needs to install the update to connect to PlayStation Network. So now if that is not the issue we can go to power and we want to turn off our PlayStation 5 and perform a hard reset. So when the lights stop blinking on our PlayStation 5 we can turn it around and just simply unplug it from the wall outlet for approximately one to two minutes. Then you can hold down the power button just to drain any residual power. And then after a set amount of time, we can plug it back in. Now we want to do the same thing to our wireless router and modem. So your modem is going to have all these blinking lights on it and it's going to look like a Wi-Fi symbol. And I can see everything is blue, meaning my connection is good. And your router is going to have these antennas on it. Or you might just have a wireless router slash modem combo where it's all in one unit like this one specifically, I just happen to have an additional router. So just go to the back of your modem and your wireless router and unplug it from the wall outlet. And leave it unplugged for approximately one to two minutes. And then I'd suggest unplugging all these little cords and then plugging them back in just in case there was a loose cord that's causing the connection issue. Then you could try screwing in and making sure this coaxial cable is plugged in all the way and then plug in your router, and then you should be good to go. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.